Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2-1B medical droid from the Power of the Force line. Now, as always, if you like this video and want to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's free, and it really helps out the channel. So, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy's packaging. So here it is, uh, pretty standard for what we saw out of the Power of the Force line. Big image of Darth Vader up here in the corner, as well as an image of the character here on the side. One thing I do love to point out is this classic Kenner logo down here in the corner, pretty cool. Uh, when you flip it around onto the back, there is an image of the character from the movie here with some sort of made up stats, which always kind of uh, crack me up. Below that, there are some of the other figures that you could pick up around the same time as well as some of the vehicles. So overall, pretty standard stuff. So let's go ahead and get back to the figure itself here. Now this guy stands at, let's see, three and three quarter inches tall. So he's right in scale with all of your other Star Wars three and three quarter inch figures. And he does come with one accessory and that is this. Now this is his medical diagnostic computer, and the only reason I know that is because they proudly tout it on the front of the package. Um, you always know you're buying a background character when the accessory gets a, uh, you know, as, as much, um, I guess, read space on the front as the character itself, but kind of funny. It's just a little, I don't even know really what it's meant to be, uh, it basically just looks like a little blaster and this can be clipped into his hand um, So I guess supposedly he could do some sort of diagnostics or something uh, kind of funny um, I probably wouldn't pose the figure with it I think it uh, pretty much stands on its own as far as that's concerned now the figure itself is fairly basic It has very limited articulation He's got a swivel here at the head, and one thing I do really like is that this little hose here is removable and is very flexible so that you're not going to break that uh, when you uh, pose the figure, which is really nice. Uh, he does have swivel shoulders on both sides, no other articulation in the arms, no swivel, oh, actually there is a swivel at the waist there, it's just very well hidden. Uh, and then he's got swivel hips, and I think this is possibly the worst design for swivel hips I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, they swivel this way, so that's not the most useful, I would say, bit of articulation. It does do it on both sides, although I would say probably 99% of people will always leave this figure just sort of standing up uh, just like this. One final thing that I do want to mention that I really like about this figure is the sort of clear sections. It's sort of hard to show off on camera, but this um, belly section is clear and there is a little bit of detail in there as well. And then the neck section is also clear, uh, which is pretty cool. It's a cool touch, um, definitely makes the uh, this figure I think stand out a little bit above the rest of them. So overall, what do I think of this guy? Honestly, I don't think it's a like spectacular or super exciting figure, but I do love background characters, and I think that they do actually capture the essence of this character uh, fairly well. And I would say that for most people, this is probably one that you'll be able to find for fairly cheap. And you know, for less than ten bucks, I would say it's um, you know a, a no-brainer. Uh, definitely something that I would add uh, to my collection. So anyway, leave your uh, comments or questions down in the comment section below. Hello, and I guess I'll see you later.